wake up. Wake up, princess. I don't have much time left. I must trust you since you opened the chamber of ice. I must tell you this before I die. There will be a time when may you need this information, but now you just have to only listen and hear. There is still hope. Only you free remain, and you must continue your path to defeat evil. You are the only ones who can do something against the despair and desolation that the gods want to bring. The stars of divinity, upon hearing the fiery prophecy inscribed in the universe, prohibit and massacred anyone who wanted to understand magic. So, they lock up and he dropped for it. I had heard it with my own ears. It was sculpted and sent by the same dimension to all the galaxies throughout the universe to terrorize. But all those who opposed the stars of divinity were locked up until that prophecy came to earth. I tried to decipher it by reading the conditions and powerful magic. But for each secret that I revealed and unraveled, or with this close my eyes remaining hidden from my knowledge in the abyss and oblivion. When I tried to investigate inside the Gixawe portal, I was in the verge of madness, almost succumbed to the corruption at least by that abrupt dimension, which seemed like eons were only seconds. Time was reversed. I locked myself in the chamber of ice. They threatened to kill my children. I had to disappear for the sake of protecting this knowledge and the universe. The stars of divinity considers my studies a lie, a way to unfold magic. May Hydra's race die his existence and his essence to dust. On that day, I swore that the mother should know the truth about the world we live in, but such cowards they were, who wanted no reasoning life but only devoted puppets. Kixagwe is not a dimension princess. The wheels of time go backwards. Matter is, un is altered by something mysterious. That place is not common. Its composite is unnatural. Everything is corroded by something incomprehensible. It's a horrible place. You can't get out if you go in. That is why I proceed to think that you shouldn't trust those gods that lock up in Hydra. We shouldn't wait much longer. You must act now. Should universal distractions occur? There are ways to create a golden dragon that will be able to give birth to this unholy mess. Electric fields lie dormant in the cosmos beyond astral comprehension. A flash will form colossal thunder that resides in the stars' clusters. It's the only thing I can teach you before I perish. The prophecy will be fulfilled if it continues like this. And Hydra unstoppable cosmic energy is overwhelming. I have felt it, and I beheld it. Calamity will soon be against us. There are no chosen ones or heroes in this world. Entropy is wreaking havoc in the universe. The destruction of this universe is inevitable. Therefore, when the universe is reborn, you must rise before it is too late. I couldn't finish my investigation, and there are still mysteries that I haven't been able to solve. I feel responsible being the father of dragons. I feel guilty for having had to flee from what threatened to exterminate my race. I know you have an abysmal power. You need not fear your own power, princess. You must imbue it without fear. The black rose will allow you to travel beyond this plane. That is why I must confess you. 
that the magic is not the danger. A person born with dark powers doesn't become evil. It's a cause of our decisions. Finally, before I succumb, I give you this cipher crystal that I have built with all the magic and power of a golden dragon like myself that I have generated for eons. I hope that you will find it useful and that you will use it when it's necessary. My essence is about to end, but don't cry, since I've done my job. Now is your time to finish what has already begun. Be careful, Spisa. Goodbye.